guys this is D here's another free After Effects template for you so here's a quick help video so after downloading the zip file and after extracting you will be able to see these files open this using After Effects CC 2013 click open and since I'm using the latest one it will ask me to convert it click OK once open you'll be able to see these placeholders Here's your logo or text placeholder, your photo or video placeholder, and your main composition to render out. So I also included the control panel here. Now to customize this, open this pre-comp, double click, and you can type your text from here using this text tool. And if you want to use the font that I used in the preview video, I placed the font link in the description area. From here, you can change your font style. You can use a different color, click OK. Now, if you want to use your logo image, you can hide this. Then go here to File, Import, then locate the logo that you'll be using. For this example, I'll be using this. I'll click and drag it here to the composition and select S or hit S on your keyboard to change the size you can also change the position using this tool like so for this example I'll be using just a white color for the logo so I'll just apply the fill color maybe white and if you will be using an image file instead of text don't forget to turn this on and this motion blur on so as we can see in our composition it will update just make this half or faster now if you want to use an image Go here to File, Import, then locate the image that you'll be using. For this example, I'll be using this. Then click and drag it here to your composition. Again, hit S on your keyboard to change the size. And move this around like so, using this tool. Now to customize the look and feel of this intro, you can go here to the control panel, select this layer, then go here to effect controls tab. And if you will be using an image, uh, of course you won't be using this option. For the texture levels, you can uh, maybe turn this off if you want, don't want any textures. Like so. Also for the photo, you can change the tint color maybe this one or if you want to use the original colors of your image just turn this on now for the rotation of your animation in for your logo if you want to just have a simple zoom out you can maybe just place zero so so that applies to the animation in and animation out now to render this just put this back to full go to composition add to render queue now inside media encoder you can change the settings from here for this I'm using h264 for the size or dimensions same frame rate and CBR for the bitrate encoding maybe at 10 and the audio at 256 of course you can use your preferred settings then click OK of course uh, type in your file name and save it to your preferred location then click play so that's it I hope you'll find this very useful. Again, this is D. 
thank you for watching bye for now Thank <laughs> you.